Hi, this is John Castle again. I'm the director of facilities here at Winterthur. And this morning, I'm standing here in front of the dairy barn. Now, in 1915, we had 75 cows that were wandering around the property. And Mr. DuPont decided to hire a man named Elmer Humphreys out of New York to come in and build him a dairy barn, which was going to be the centerpiece of his breeding program. So Elmer came down and built most of the buildings here, brought a lot of the technology involved, such as the pebble dash, blown on concrete sidings that some of the buildings exhibit here on Farm Hill. Elmer started working. Uh, the barn was completed around 1916 to 1917. And while it was up, uh, the dairy herd grew from 75 cows to 450 cows by 1923. Fortunately, the barn burned down in 1930. It was only partially insured. And Mr. DuPont could only afford to do half the size of the barn uh, of the original. So the barn that you see now was actually twice as big uh, when it was built in 1917. So a couple of things that did survive the fire are these great riveted iron water tanks. There's two of them, they're 18,000 gallons apiece, and they're still currently in use today, providing uh, water pressure and water supply for the estate. But when they were here in use, uh, they also used it for fire protection, and they would have a hose reel uh, that you see up here and a hose on it, and it would go out the window to fight a fire that was up here on Upper Farm Hill. So here we are inside the dairy barn. I'd like to point out that uh, the trusses here, they're laminated straight boards. It's an ad adaptation of the Shawver Truss, which was developed by John Shawver in Ohio in 1904.